cheap is really meant as a compliment, but for our next guests, it's a badge of honour. The Economides are a family of seven and they have turned inexpensive living into an art form. It only costs them $350 a month to supply food, uh, disposable goods in a whole household. America's cheapest family do not use credit cards. They've written a book about how to cut your grocery bill in half uh, to find the secrets of their success. Annette and Steve Economides from Phoenix, uh, Arizona join us. Welcome both of you. So Hi. Listen, it's so terrific to have these great tips on this morning. Okay, let's rewind a few years. You were married in the early 80s, I said, and now a family of seven. When did you decide to sort of get on this saving track? Well, it started right from day one of our marriage. I was earning $6.50 an hour as a graphic design paste-up artist, and Annette wanted to stay home and learn to manage our home. And so we started off, we learned about budgeting, and I know a lot of people don't like the word budget, but for us, that has been the single most profitable tool for turning our household into a profitable business. And it, it works. We turn a profit every month because we manage our money, and every business does it, but we need to learn to do that for households. And that's what's helped us to pay off our first home in nine years, to pay cash for cars and to pay cash for all of our vacations. But we started out just living on pennies and we decided to make it a game. And so my job was supposed to be to stretch those pennies until they beg for mercy. And then it became a really fun game to play. And so now we feel like we're just having a good time. Okay, Annette, you, you funster, you, you tell me how I can save money. Let's start with the groceries. What do we do? What did you invent? Well, I say that if you're looking to free up some cash, groceries are the fastest way to start generating some extra money. So um, we've got myriads of strategies in our book, but the first thing is to plan a menu, for sure, and just start with dinners, pick simple, simple menus, like things like tacos or barbecue chicken or spaghetti and meatballs, even macaroni and cheese. All of those are going to be better and less expensive than going out to eat. Wow, okay. Did you say you paid off your first home in nine years? Nine years on an average income of about $33,000 U.S. And how many kids? By we time we, we have it, five we kids. Have five. Wow. Okay, now, you know, this takes a lot of discipline. I also understand you have never, ever had a credit card. Right, and, you know, basically what we learned is we can live within our means, and by using our budget system, we save in advance for anticipated expenses. Uh, and, and basically it's, it's thinking that, you know, if you have a car, you're going to need to repair it every once in a while. So you put aside a little extra money for that, and when the car breaks down, you have the cash. It's just anticipating expenses, and it works like a charm. It's the same with holiday gifts or back-to-school clothes. We save in advance, and so if the cash is not there, we don't go and spend the money. We wait. And so it does take us a little bit longer, and we need to have more patience, but the payoff is so worth it. But this is absolute back-to-basics, original savings plan because these days everybody wants everything immediately didn't you ever and the kids perhaps say oh we want to go on this holiday or we want that new plasma tv or you want to literally keep up with the neighborhood how, how did you react to those sort of pressures you know that that is a great question and i think because we have lived this way for so long you know even before we started having kids and when our children were little that they have learned that they can have anything that they want they just need to wait for it and save for it and, and buy it. And when they when they set a goal to buy something, like our daughter has bought leather um, uh, saddles, she's bought a truck, um, she's, she's bought a myriad of things, bedroom furniture. When she saves up her money and then goes and purchases it, she feels so good about herself. And she researches it. She usually gets a great deal on it. And our kids have learned to really enjoy the hunt. Mm -hmm. What have you ever really splurged? We, we, buy, we buy cars when we need them. Uh, we took a vacation to Cancun for our 20th anniversary. We, we buy Cheetos and ice cream. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we live like everybody else lives. We mm -hmm. have everything everybody else has. We have a 
beautiful home. It's a five-bedroom home on three-quarters of an acre with a citrus orchard. We have two German shepherds in our backyard. We have five box turtles. I mean, we have we have everything everybody else has. Maybe so, not the but, box turtles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, but basically, you just plan everything quite well in advance, from food to household bills to transport to holidays. Everything is a plan. That's well. The, the key is, and most people won't be ready for mm -hmm. doing it the way we do it, but the truth is the more you plan, whether it's shopping for groceries or planning a vacation or planning a, a, a birthday party, the more you plan something, the more efficient it's going to be and the less expensive it's going to be. So the rule of thumb is the more you plan, the more you save. And Carrie, like we say, even with groceries, going back to groceries for just a second, one simple little thing is like take a list to the grocery store because... Um, Researchers say that 60% of the items that you put in your cart are going to be impulse items. So if you go to the store four times a week and you go for 10 items, you're going to put 16 items in your cart. Whereas if you only go once a week, think about how much of the impulse items are cut down. And we have a free shopping list on our website at americascheapestfamily.com. So wow. people can download it and start saving right now. A great advice because, you know, there's no question the world going through the um, GFC and especially America has had some very tough times. You're just going through midterm elections that uh, are really mm -hmm. going to be interesting because the change America wanted financially especially has not arrived. Well, no. what we're hoping is, and we understand that Australia is doing better than us right. financially, and we pray that that continues, but the best way that you can personally improve your own finances mm -hmm. is to get out of debt, to live uh, below your means and generate an excess every right. month, and that's what we hope our books will do. We've got two books. America's Cheapest Family Gets You Right on the Money is, mm -hmm. is a general finance book, and then the grocery book, Cut Your Grocery Bill in Half, deals with how you can start saving right now, and we say that the average family can probably put away $2,000 to $4,000 a year if they just follow the principles well, we Steve, outline in the book. Steve, Steve and Annette, we want to stuff. thank you very much. It's great practical planning advice, back to basics. And from Phoenix, Arizona, we thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. Thank you for letting us be here. Terrific. Great advice. Uh, all the information on the website.